We have three blocks of core, 12 minutes each. We have two blocks of cardio. They're only three minutes each, but I want you to just go full on all out in those cardio. I want your heart rate up. I want you gasping for breath. Um, not that dramatic, but you know, but let's, <laughs> let's warm up, have your towel, have your music, have your water. And I hope you have a really fantastic workout. Okay. And oh, so if you have a pillow close by, grab it because we'll something you want to throw or slam. It's in the first block of work. Uh, we'll do, um, we're going to do some slams and some rainbows. Not necessary, but if you have it, you don't need anything but your body weight for this workout. Let me make sure this is not as crazy loud. Okay, let's get a big deep breath in. Here we go. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Julia. Squeeze your butt. Shoulders down your back. Activate your leg muscles. Activate it all. This is like, people are like, what are they doing? It looks like nothing, but no, we're activating all our muscles, putting our muscles right here. Forward rolls, cross them in front of you. Core is engaged, butt is squeezed. Reverse it. You're breathing. So I put this workout together and I put all the timing structures in place last night, give me Trump twist. Oh my gosh, my core is definitely sore from yesterday, which is ironic that we're doing core today. But um, you can never work the core too much. It's actually a fact that I made up just now. Reach over, come right back. Reach over, come right back. Shoulders down your back. So I was putting this workout together. One more each side. And it came out. And now look your legs up. Go over. Came out to be like 58 minutes long. <laughs> I tweaked it. I got it down to like 47. So if you have to jump out, I know. Up and over, up and over. One more each side. And now reverse it. Ooh. Balance challenge. Get it high. Shoulders down your back. Oh, I wanted to do hula hoop too. So give me two more. One, two, go right into big hula hoop. And really press those hips forward and really press them back. This is the most not hula hoop thing ever. All the way forward, all the way back. One more circle this way. Get those hip joints rolling. Push it forward. First circuit, all standing core. I reversed my hold. Give me one more big circle. Beautiful, reach all the way up. All the way up, shoulders down your back. And then fold over, feet are hip width apart. Set that booty up into the sky. Bend those knees. Press out on those elbows side to side. I'm not, I'm sorry. Press your elbows against your knees. Beautiful, send that booty up into the sky again. Roll it up, jog in place. I'm showing you your first moves. Jog in place, you have 30 more seconds of your warm up. Toy soldiers, I want that core engaged, shoulders down your back. 45 seconds on it, actually built a 10 second transition rest in here. Then, Squat to toy soldier, move number two. Then you have your, we're gonna grab our pillow or our stuffed animal or whatever, rainbows, and that is such a core move. And then you have a slam, so you're gonna slam something down, it could be pretend, put your hands down, walk it back, with, or burpee leg it back and come up, slam again. You don't wanna get on the ground, you can do a squat to toes or squat, jump in there, so you'll add an extra squat. Let's go. Toy soldiers. Shoulders down your back. Pretty low impact. We're going to save the impact for the cardio circuit. I love the combo. Guys, my heart was so full yesterday. Thank you. So this is pretty core heavy right here. Make sure your core is engaged. Give me two more. Good. Take that eight seconds rest. Set yourself up for your squat. Squatting, alternating between, alternating leg each time. Let's go. So you're keeping that chest up, eyes up. Send that butt back. Shoulders down your back. Form, 
over everything. Over absolutely everything. My legs are like, what the fuck are you doing? Shoulders down your back, feel them. Make that mind muscle connection. Beautiful. Grab something if you want it. Time. We're going to do those rainbows. Come up to your toes in the center. Slam it down. I have a little soccer ball. That's fake. That's it. Oh, it's a stuff. Jody, congratulations on your launch yesterday. Guys, Jody has to type it in the chat. The name of the company to a beautiful, inclusive undergarment clothing line. Keep going. Squeeze. Keep going. Almost there. Squeeze that core. Time. You can keep this in your hand because we're doing slams. You're going up to your toes. You are slamming it down. Hands go on the ground. Walk it back. Let's go. You don't want to do the walk back. Slam it. Hit and pop a jump right there. Pop it up to toes. Okay. I didn't want to say it wrong, Jody. Keep going, keep going. Yes, Julia. Slam it. Bam. Pop those legs out, or you can walk them back, right? You do you. Three. Oh, I tried to go back. Two. One. You have 10 seconds. Breathe. We're going back to those toy soldiers. I'm already sweating. Here we go. 45 seconds of work. A lovely 10 second transition. You can march it around your room. Squeeze your butt cheeks. Engage your core. Keep going. Good job, good job, keep going. Go, Debbie. Nice toe touches. That's the resistance for your core. That leg coming up. Two, one, time. Squat, and twist over. Three, two, one. Here we go. Shoulders down your back. Eyes up. Many moons ago, I got my motorcycle license. I think I was like 20. And I just remember the instructor saying, wherever your eyes are looking, that's where your bike's going. So don't look down. You look straight ahead or around that turn you're going. It's the same right here. Wherever your eyes go, your body's following. <sighs> <sighs> Keep going. Play with your tempo. You can go faster or slower. Time. Time. Grab your pillow, your stuffed animal. You have a medicine ball. You have a ball. You got nothing. Doesn't matter. Let's go. Rainbows. Ooh, up on toes. Bam. Ooh. Keep those shoulders down your back. Keep going. Ooh. Total body move right here. Total core crunch right there. Good job. Breathe. Keep going. Good job, Allison. Time. 
Get ready. Slam it. You are either walking those legs back into a high plank or popping them back. Or here we go. Slam, pop back up. You add a little jump in there if you don't want to go down the ground. It'll be like that. You do you. Yes! So strong. Yes, Lindsay. Keep going. You got under five. You got three. Give me one more. Bam. Time. One more time through. Then you have a whole 45 second break. Here we go. Toy soldiers. My legs feel heavier. Oh, I keep the soccer ball. Keep going. This is your last time through this circuit. And then that's one block check. Core is tight. Booty is squeezed. You're under 10. Yes. Strong arms. Time. That got my knee winded. Get ready. Squat, alternating hand, toe touches. In three. Here we go. Again, strong arms. Go, Rebecca. Go, Jen. Go, Jody. Send that butt back, chest up. Keeping that chest up, pushing that butt back helps you form, helps your form. You got this. Three, two, one. Get ready for your rainbows. Don't worry, Monica, sleeping soundly. Here we go. Down, all the way up, squeeze your butt as you go to the top. Bam! I mean, it's fun to really throw it or slam it. When you make it, suck out the bounce. Oh, right, there's stuff ball. Keep going. Oh. Three, two, one. Slam to walk out, step out, or slam to jump. Here we go. Let's go. Slam, pop it. Sound effects, encourage. Keep going, under Tabata, which translates to under 20. Cardio, as if that wasn't cardio. 
Three moves. You have a lateral. One, two, three. Heisman, you know the three lateral shuffles, pause and crunch that core. Then high knees. Then jack, regular jumping jacks or plank jacks. You pick it. I know there's shoulder issues out this. So we are here for three minutes. 10 of each move, then nine of each move, then eight of each move. Let's go. So one, here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. High knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do your jumping jacks or plank jacks. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back up. Hyphen. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nine high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Rest eight. Good job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. High knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Five <laughs> checks. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lateral seven. Woo! Six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven jacks. Seven, five, three, two, one. Lateral, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, six high knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, six jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Laterals, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. High knees, five, five, four, three, two, one. High jacks, five, four, three, two, one. Laterals for four. Two, one, four high knees. One, two, three, four, four jacks. One, two, three, four. Time. That was three minutes. Good job. Walk it off. Take your heart rate down. I originally had that at five minutes, but I trimmed it. Maybe next cardio core. Cardio circuits are the long ones, core are the short ones. I do love cardio. Get ready. We're hitting the floor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Come down to the floor. We have dead bug. Let's go right into it. On your back, arms up. Opposite arm, opposite leg. What is so important here, knees or above your hips? Keep them at that 90. And you are pressing your lower back crazy into the ground. Shoulders down your back. Strong arm, strong leg. Don't let that leg touch the ground as you extend it, unless you absolutely have to. Keep going. Shoulders down your back, lower back in the mat. That's where your mind is. And trying to coordinate your arms. Time. 
Check this next move out. I want your arms electrified right here. I want your knees up 90. I want one heel tap, one heel tap, shoulders come up, heel tap, heel tap, back down, let's go. Heel tap, one leg, heel tap the other leg, arms are electric, come up off the mat, heel tap, heel tap. Let's go, oh, that yesterday's, oh, my muscles just said, what the? Press that lower back in the mat. It is a very controlled heel tap. It's not a heel plop at all. Breathe. So our next move after this is the sexy bear. If you don't want to do the sexy bear, you can stand up and do elbow to opposite knee. Time. Get ready for your sexy bear. So if sexy bear is too much, do Standing, knee to elbow. Here we go. Sexy breath. Hands, knees directly under hips. Walk it out. Get comfortable and get sexy. I guess that's how it works, right? You get real comfortable and then you get real sexy. <laughs> or opposite, I don't know. Flat back. What do you have on your back? <laughs> I'm gonna be good. I have a great protein shake smoothie. You asked me at five, it would be a glass of water. Flat back. Time. We're staying here. You can take this on the wall. We're doing push ups. We're doing Spider Man push ups. So you could be on your knees, you could be up on your toes. You are going down. Now you can bring that leg up as you go down and press it back, or you bring your leg up and then go down into a push-up, wherever you are. Again, you could be on your knees, start it up. You could be against the wall with this. And you could definitely grunt. That Spider-Man is giving you an oblique crunch. Oh, I gotta hit my knees. Ooh. Ain't no shame in the modification game. Time on your back for dead bug, which is really one of the most effective core exercises. It's forcing, if your back is flat into the mat, you're forcing good form. Opposite arm, opposite, oh, opposite leg. Oh. Lower back in the mat. So I took Monica out to walk the boys to the bus today. And oh my gosh, she would not leave them. It was actually super cute. So then we just stood there. And I was like, sorry, boys, because there are all other kids there. I'm such an embarrassing mom. Breathe as they watch buses go by. Full of kids. <sighs> Time. We're staying right here. We got those alternating heel taps with our heels, actual heels, and then heel tap with our hand to heel. Ready? Bring those legs up. Hands are energized. Heel tap, control it down. Keep that 90 degree angle. You're, and then heel tap. Oh, reach. I can't reach my one foot. I can't reach my. 90, you're not, you're moving from your hip, not your knee. Lower back in the mat. It's the hip joint that's releasing the leg. You keep that 90 degrees. Good job. Lower back in the mat. Because it really likes to come up, especially have you, you have some booty. I have booty that's large. And it likes to create that little pocket of air. Ah, time. Roll it over, dead bug. I mean, I'm sorry. Opposite of dead bug, sexy bear. Here we go. Hands directly under shoulders, knees directly under hips. This is for Jonathan. You can go backwards with it. You can go sideways with it. The most important thing is that that butt stay, yes, a little knee, beautiful gem. 
Yes, Debbie. Keep that neutral spine so your head's not dropping. You're looking, you're gazing like between your hands. Keep going. You feel that core working? If you don't, then your butt's up too high in the air. Get those knees closer to the ground. It'll bring your butt with it. Under 10. I think today I hate push-ups, guys. You never hear me say that. Two, one. Spider push-ups. You could do these on the wall. If you stay, or even you could stand and do a side crunch. Here we go. I'm gonna get a couple up in on my toes. Yes, push it through. Take it out of its contraction. <sighs> Breathe. Do not hold your breath. <sighs> Shoulders down your back. <sighs> Press that lower back in. Always fix and form. Always take time to adjust. <sighs> <sighs> you got three, two, one. Get ready for those heel taps again. That 90 stays in your knees. This is where the movement comes from. Hands are energized. And then one, let's go. Other one. Shoulders come up. Reach, reach. Oh, that reach is so tiny today. Breathe. Oh. Good job, everybody. Keep going. You are so close. I hope your core feels it. Mine does. Oh. Getting stronger. Time. Turn it over. That felt like the opposite of sexy. My turn over. But we're not here to be sexy. We're here to work it out. Working out is sexy. Here we go. Walk it. Press the ground away. Keep your ass down. Your back is flat as a board. And I mean, like, if you put a level on it, it would be level. So pay attention to that. Look at yourself in your screen. Make your adjustments. Walk it. You can make a square. You can walk in a circle. Throw a couple laterals in there. You got five. Your quad should even be burning. Time. Last push up sequence. Spider Man push ups. Here we go. Set it up. Exhale as you push up. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. You modify as you need. Make sure your core is tight. 
Time. Oh. We're done with that for a second. We're going back to our feet. That's core circuit number two is done. We have two blocks of work left. Shana, I didn't know you were in here. Hi, girl. Okay, we got our next, it's a pyramid. So we're starting at 10 and working our way down. First move is cross jack. So your arms are crossing and your legs are crossing. You can step it out. Okay, that's move number one for 10. Then we got skaters. So it's a big step and freeze, okay? One each side, count one is one rep. Third one, split lunge pulses. So you're here, pulse, 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 pulse. You don't wanna jump, step it up, pulse, pulse. Here we go, 10 cross jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, squeeze your butt, eight, nine, 10. Hit the skaters and go at your own. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pulses. One, two, three, five, seven, nine, ten. Holy crap! Cross jacks. Nine, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Skaters. Two, nine of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Pulses. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holy crap. Eight cross jacks. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Eight skaters. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse switches. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Holy crap. Cross jacks. Seven, four, three, two, one. Seven skaters. Seven pulses. Three, one. Oh my God. Six cross jumps. Six skaters. Six pulse lunges. Five, five cross jacks. Five skaters. Five lunges. Four cross jacks. Holy. Good job. Three very intense minutes. Walk it off. You have one more core circuit. We got some funky new moves in here. It's all on the ground. My heart was up to 185, which is normal when I get my cardio tickets. Okay. Reverse crunch. Let's hit the ground. You're laying on your back. Okay. Here we go. You're gonna bring those legs up. Bring that booty up off the ground. Bring those legs, put them all the way down. Hands go behind your head. 
straight leg sit up, touch your toes. Roll it back, put your hands down by your side. Oh, reverse crunch, put those legs down, hands go back, reach for your toes. Try not to use momentum from that reverse crunch. Get your core. Time. Come over onto one side. You're on one elbow. Shoulder is over. If this hurts your shoulder, come down here. Okay? Here we go. You're going to roll slightly back onto your booty. Your legs are at a slight V. Bring one leg up. Other leg meets it. Come down and down. One leg up. Other leg comes up to meet it. Leg comes down. Up. So if you're down here, you can do the same thing. You're gonna have to roll a little bit onto your back side for that. And stabilize with your front hand. Okay? How? Ooh, feel that crunch in your oblique. Feel that work in your booty. Press up. I don't want you slouching into that shoulder. You're pressing into the ground. Time. Other side. There we go. I have a slight V in my hip. It's a little bent. And top leg comes up, bottom leg comes up to meet it. Like, don't go without me. Where are you going? You going to a show? Are you going to Comic Con? Guys, Shane and I have a date. You all know my love for Outlander. Well, I found a front end crime. <laughs> I have to show you. I'm going to show you something that I have really close by. Keep going. Bring that foot up to me, that top foot. Hold that top leg. Crunch that core. That's fun and cute. Good job. Hold on. Get onto your back. We're doing a straight leg sit up again. But this time I want your arms behind your head. You roll up and come up and open your arms and turn to one side. Roll back down. Roll back up. You are up at a 90 degree. You rotate, opening that arm goes behind you. Okay, I want a nice T-spine rotation. Opening that chest up, reach behind you. Isn't this so a nice way to end our workout? We're gonna do this two more times. But after that, same. Shoulders down your back the whole time. Your core is knitted together. You are rolling vertebrae by vertebrae. If it's too much, to come all the way up. You could stay up and do an open, close, open, close, okay? That's time. Get ready for your reverse crunch. Oh, let me show you. Outlander knitting. <laughs> yes, I am that person. Reverse crunch right now. Legs go down, touch your toes. Come back down, pick up some speed. You know what? F it. As your legs go down, come up to meet them. Yes, Allison, perfect. Really squeeze that ass as you get it off the ground. Press your arms into the ground. Cardio doesn't stop. Beautiful. Control the movement. Time. Get on your one shoulder or lay down. You can lay down on your side, your choice. Totally fine either way. Pressing into the ground. Here we go, lift top leg. Bottom leg makes it back down. If you wanna make it more challenging, you lift that top arm. So your core is forced to do all the stabilizing, okay? So not only are you getting that oblique crunch in, Press into the ground. Don't my shoulders just start like you know slouching? Strong neck. All your core muscles have to stabilize your body, holding it up. So strong you are. Ooh. 
time. Turn it over. Oh, oh. Here we go. Shoulder and elbow lined up. Lift that front leg. Knead it. Zip it down. Up. Oh, feel like a badass. Because you are. Play with your form. Feel it. Strong shoulders. They are down your back. Always. Engaging. That recruits muscles. Helps posture. This is like a side pike. Use that butt meat. You might have to put an extra pad under your hip. I don't have that issue with my extra butt. And I was born with that. Okay, on your back. We have that straight leg sit up with an open. Again, if the sit up's too much, you stay here and you open and close. You'll feel the core in it. Here we go. Up, open. It's vertebrae by vertebrae. Open. Keep going. I got lost in thought. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Try not to flop that back on the mat. Shoulders really down your back. I'm sure you're sick of me saying that. Time. What do we got? Oh, we got the reverse crunch. Reverse crunch. Set yourself up all the way down. Here we go. Legs up. Come up. Sit up. Reach. You can take this faster. And momentum will become a part of it. And that's okay. For our last time through. Yes, quite beautiful. Time. Get on that one leg. You can lay down. Here we go. Bring that leg up. Bottom leg meets it. Slight roll back onto your booty. You can't do this totally on your hip. You have to have a slight roll back. Bye, Tobias. You got this. You're so close. So, Rebecca. Let's go, Lindsay. Shayna. What a treat. I love it. Time. Flip it over to the other side. We have two moves left in this workout. We got a short cool down, and you we're off on our merry way for what looks like another beautiful day. Here we go. Leg is up, arms up. Meet it. Mm, down. Pick up that tempo. Use the reserve tank. I mean, you want to go another level. You could leave that leg up there. It's fun to play with levels, right? You could leave that top leg up. Don't bring that lower leg all the way down to the ground. Look what Tobias is missing. Keep going. Okay, we're going to bring him down. Mm. Mm. You got this because you know why? The bell's gonna ring in less than five. Time. We got that reverse crunch, which I think of Jody, but I think Jody popped off. Go, Julia. Okay, here we go. Get ready. Oh no, we got that. I'm sorry, we have that straight leg with a trunk rotation. Open. Down. Let me get my body in. Down. This 
is it. We have 30 seconds here. Yes, you're using your core to get up, but you also are using that core to open those arms. Beautiful time. Give me your hands and knees. Let's do cat cow. Get into it. Give me a cat. Cut that chin, cut that booty. Reverse, oh, and you reverse, you feel that core. Mine is so tight. Open it up again. Reverse it. We'll press into the ground. Really force that head up, chin up. One more time. Tuck it under, curl that tailbone under, and then reverse it. Really pressing into the ground. Booty up, forehead up. Find neutral. Beautiful. Give yourself a little space between your knees. Send your butt back. Really reach those hands forward. Find length in your spine. Feel that stretch down your lats to your tailbone. Now let's cross it over so we get our lats and our obliques involved. Breathe. You are reaching with your fingers and pressing your butt in that opposite direction. Walk it to the other side. As far as you can go, so you feel a stretch. No pain, just stretch. Lengthening of the muscles. Beautiful. Come back to all fours and bring one knee up. So you're at 90 90. Press those hips forward. Open those arms to the side. Press the hips forward. And you did it. You were incredible. Okay. Other leg, bring that arms in. We gotta get the other side of the arm. So press the hip in. Ready to hear the curtains going up. Palm core open. Thank you, the other side. Beautiful, bring it back to center. Put your hands down on the ground. Lift your booty up into the air. Feet are hip width apart. And slowly roll up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. All the way up. Just give yourself the shoulders down and back. Little head roll. Get the tension out, tension out, tension out. Tension free. At least for 20 minutes. Okay? Thank you guys so much. I want to say what Judy, um, Jody's... There she is! Oh. Oh, Jody, it's Lola Olivia, right? Check her out. Okay. You guys, oh my God, take a picture. I forgot, I forgot. Okay, I'm so bad at this. Okay, let's see. Did it see me? Yes, I did it. <laughs>